An arsonist destroyed, of all things, a playground in a Rochester neighborhood, and now kids and parents there are wondering why and what happens next. This happened Friday at the playground at Wilson Foundation Academy. Mike Bunt looked into all this. Mostly we play at the park because it's really fun. Fun is the key word. That's what school playgrounds are for. But due to an arson, the one at Wilson Foundation Academy will be closed for an unknown period of time. Folks living here say it's so much more than an act of vandalism. I was a little in shock and, and surprised that something like this would happen to a community center, a church, a playground that is meant for everyone, especially the little children. So I was quite concerned and it showed me that there is a lot of work that needs to be done. There was also concern for how the fire would impact kids in the neighborhood. We don't know what our children are going to think, you know what I mean? We need this replaced, and we need more facilities like this around the Rochester area and out so we can have our children successful because that's what it's basically about. Nine-year-old Kesmir Williams and his 10-year-old sister Cachet live across the street from the playground. They saw the fire. I see that. The park was burnt down and smoke was coming up. We saw the firefighters come um, to the park and they had to go the fire. They're disappointed the playground is shut down, but have a simple answer to this simple question. Do you guys hope they they rebuild the playground? Yeah, yeah so we can, um, so my baby sister could play at it again. The playground was still fairly new, having been around for only three years. It appears it'll need to be dismantled due to severe burn damage. Any updates on the investigation, the arson investigation at this point? There's not many updates at this time. We know it's being looked at as a fifth degree arson, a misdemeanor charge. No one has currently been arrested or charged at the moment. All right, Mike, thank you so much, Maureen. Long